All right, I'm going to attempt to show you what tomato tar is. If nobody knows what tomato tar is, I'll show it to you. Uh, you can probably see it on my fingers a little bit right there. I'll get a little more on there. It's a little early in the season for tomato tar. I could feel it. Yeah, you, you'll see it. it it's eventually it turns... Uh, like a white color on your skin. That'll probably turn white. It's all over my camera from sticking my camera in here. But you can kind of see it on my fingers a little bit. It's still early yet. When this, when the tomato season uh, gets kicking in, if they don't die from the heat, um, you'll really see it. Now, I get covered in tomato tar every year. Alright. Tomato tar is a very very good sign Now you can see it starting to show up on my fingers you can't see it at first but as it dries that stuff will stain your skin there's actually almost no way to get this stuff off your skin all right just want you to be aware of that so if you go sticking your hands in the tomato bushes to get your tomato tar in your hands you're not going to get it off and soap and water makes it worse it stains your hands uh the only way to get it off right is to wash it right away uh, like right now, see that I touched my finger before? Get in the shade here, see how I touch it? See how it's turning into that glowing yellow color? Yeah, has a smell, smells like tomato. That's um, basically a really good sign that your tomatoes are healthy. And generally, if you can keep the blight and the uh, diseases from, let me turn the camera around so I can talk to you. If you could keep the blight and the other diseases like uh, the white mold, the gray mold, from getting to your plant, like early um, early blight is one of the ones you really got to fight off. Black spot, septoria, or septicemia, I'm not sure, I don't remember the name. And, you know, the, the, the wilt virus and those things. If you could keep, keep those things from getting to your plant, before they make the tomato tar, your plant will last all the way to the end of the season easily. Uh, the the blights and the, the other diseases really can't get a foothold on the plant uh, once the plant begins to produce tomato tar. My plants generally produce tomato tar somewhere uh, like midsummer. And in there, I, I never really see, and I'm always starting my plants like uh, uh, when do I start them? Usually mid April is usually when I try to start them and get them out and everything. And, um, yeah, be careful with this tar. You, you get on your clothes and stuff, you just throw it out. You know, there's no point in, uh, there's really no point in trying to clean your clothes because when that gets on your clothes, it's, it's permanent. Um, but if you could keep the diseases from, um, I lost my train of thought. If you could keep the diseases from getting on your plant before it produces the tomato tar, your plant will survive all the way to the end of the season. Now, it will get it eventually. The black spots usually, the black spot septoria is usually the one that will kill your plant and or the late blight, late season blight. There's nothing you can really do about those. It's prevalent everywhere you go. I mean, at one time, early in this country's history, there was no blight. There was none of these diseases. These is, these diseases came in as, uh, you know, migration was uh, beginning and people from uh, Europe and everything else and the other countries were bringing over their produce and the seeds and everything. And along with doing that, they brought in all the diseases. And now it's prolific. You know, I mean, it's... Yeah, all of the, most of these diseases in this country are were introduced, so they're they're not n native to here. But uh, yeah, that's tomato tar, and uh, if you see that, it's a good sign. It means your plants are healthy now. Even though my plants are suffering from heat damage, they're still making tomato tar. It's just they're kind of doing it a little early for me. Uh, normally, you don't see that tomato tar till like midsummer, maybe the first week in August. You start noticing it on your hands and stuff. But um, it's coming in early, and I think it's coming in early because the plant is sensing that it's probably not going to make it because of the heat. So it, it's it's doing what it can. It's throwing out fruit. It's ripening the fruits really fast, and uh, it's trying to make its last effort 
for survival before it gets killed from the, the heat this year. So just wanted to give you an idea of what tomato tar is. It's all over my camera. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to clean this off my camera. Uh, just kind of wanted to show you what that is and what to look for. It, it, it also, I want to make a note too, tomato tar. It's basically these little hairs that uh, come off the stem of the plant and on the leaf and everything. And on the end of that leaf, it forms this, this uh, oil, I guess, of some sort. This kind of tar substance is where it comes out. I forgot the exact names of it. And that's what this stuff you see on your hands is. Now, you don't want to really handle your plants when they're doing that and get it all over you, on, you uh, unnecessarily because that stuff actually protects your plants from outside invaders, from bugs, from uh, diseases, blight. That's what protects your plants. You take the, all of that, once you start handling your plants and you start getting all that tomato tar off of the plants and you damage those little Sicily hairs, Sicilia hairs or whatever they call them, once you damage those, that's it. It's open. It's, it's game over. At any point that disease gets on that plant, that's the end of it. So um, try not, you see a tomato tarn, try not to handle a plant until you're ready to start harvesting tomatoes. Then if you need to, you go in there and do what you got to do. But, um, you know, just if you see you getting it on yourself, kind of stay away from it. Leave it alone. Let the tomato tar stay on the plant. That's where it belongs. So uh, just a heads up. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.